Oh, hold on there, young man. I see a white rose in your pocket there. You wouldn't happen to be here for a blind date, are you? Well, there's two ways I would have been able to figure that one out. Either I'm a private investigator with a keen observation and logical reasoning abilities to figure out that you're wearing that rose in your jacket pocket to signify that you're someone else's date without knowing who the opposing date is. Or I'm just a woman who's been told that her date would be wearing a white rose. <laughs> oh, don't be so shy, cutie. It's completely all right. I said I'd wait at the bar and I went to the table a little early. Didn't want to get too tipsy before you arrived. I'm quite the lightweight. My friends joke that I get drunk even if I get just a whiff of a Long Island iced tea or a martini. Oh, right. Just go ahead and take a seat. I ordered a bottle of water and some bread to start, but I don't doubt that you'd want something of your own to drink. Well, as I understand it, a friend of a friend of mine works in the office next to you, and you apparently revealed to her at some point that you're looking for a date on Valentine's Day. Not that into girls your age, not that into speed dating events, which... Let's be honest, they do kind of suck. You don't want to know my experiences with some of those events. Would you believe me if I told you I was denied entering one time because they didn't believe I was single? Uh, yeah, it was super weird. They just kept saying, no, sorry, this event is for singles only. But I was literally single at the time. Can you believe that? Honestly, looking back, it's kind of funny. I had a bunch of people there at the event already who, I'll be honest, weren't conventionally attractive. Whatever the heck that's supposed to mean. I'm not big on them. As you might be able to see, I'm only wearing some lipstick. No other makeup. Oh, well that's a very sweet compliment, young man. I'm quite aware that most boys like you don't have much of an understanding of makeup. So knowing that you find me hot... <laughs> Either way, it's a very sly comment, to say the least. And I haven't been told anything similar by a man in years. Well, the thing about people assuming I'm already in a relationship, it's kind of a running trend. All the young men I find that I'm into seem to assume a woman like me isn't looking for anything but some fun. Even when I'm giving them more than bedroom eyes across the bar. I've even gone as far as walking up to one such boy once. Unfortunately, I had the misfortune of trying to flirt with a boy who was already in a relationship with a girl, who, when she saw the two of us talking, promptly marched at him and gave him quite a long, enthusiastic kiss. Which, good enough a hint for me. I'm not a homewrecker. I'm actually quite happy for him. A protective girlfriend is never a bad thing to have. Wouldn't you agree? Oh, such a sweet boy. I'm glad you like my dress. I was wondering if it wasn't a bit too revealing. It's not see-through or anything, but this cut down reaches beyond my belly button. And the strings of fabric it leaves to cover me are... a little too small for decency. You can see the sides of my boobs peeking out from the side. And there's these little charms on the chains, just right in between them giving you a perfect excuse to stare. I do love the gloves, though. There's just something about thin red fabric covering my arms and hands that makes me feel incredibly sexy, you know? It makes me feel desirable and in control. Oh, just you wait until I stand up, sweet boy. It'll be a special surprise for you. Although, I can reveal it a little bit, I suppose. This dress used to cover my legs entirely, but I didn't quite like that. I asked my favorite tailor to have it altered, and he took away quite a bit of fabric. I quite like the result, and I hope you'll like it too. <laughs> oh, don't you worry. Nobody here will be too shocked. In all honesty, as much as I tease, I'm not going to run the risk of doing anything too uncouth. In public, at least. 
At home, it's an entirely another story. Oh, how naughty of you. Maybe that's how I walk around in the comfort and privacy of my own home, indeed. But then, maybe you'll see later tonight. But enough about me. I've been blathering on and on, and you haven't been able to get a word in. Go on, tell me about yourself. I'd like to know everything you can think of. Place of work I already know, obviously. But I don't know much else. Hobbies, family, sense of style, favorite movies, all of it. Tell me anything and everything. Well, I wouldn't necessarily say I'm wealthy. I'm well organized with my money, and I can afford more than the occasional treat for myself. But I'm not some super wealthy CEO. I live in a suburban home, not a penthouse, which has its advantages, but also some disadvantages. Really, there's some dreams I'd still like to have fulfilled. One of which may or may not involve a penthouse with lots of windows and a big fluffy bed. Darling, I don't know if you picked up on it by now, but I feel like I should tell you this. I'm looking for something very particular. Some people might call me picky for it, but I simply can't help myself. I'm looking for a very specific relationship dynamic, and not everyone likes that. So, if I tell you what I'm talking about, I need you first to promise me that you'll at least not storm out. If you don't like it, we can at the very least finish this dinner cordially and not make a scene. Oh, wonderful. Thank you for promising me. Now, I'm looking for a... For lack of a better term, a house husband. Some people I know tell me I'm looking for a boy wife or a male wife, but that doesn't quite cover what I want. It's not necessarily that I want to be with a cute guy who's feminine in all ways, but what's in his pants. It's the fact that I want to take care of someone, be the breadwinner, and come home to my husband every day. I want to... Well, I want to have the domestic life, but with the guy as a stay-at-home one instead of me. I'm not sure if this is coming across too well. Oh, you get it? That's so nice. So, does that mean you're interested in being in a relationship like that? There's no pressure behind it, of course. No is an answer, too, and I get why it might be strange, or why you wouldn't take it. I mean, it's literally the opposite of normal. The nuclear family and all that. I mean, you could describe me as a bit of a rebel, I suppose. Don't care much for beauty norms. Don't care much for gender norms. Almost as if I'm looking to reject society or something. But no, all I want is to be a beautiful wife to my loyal stay-at-home husband and the men my age are far too set in their values to qualify. So, I've had to resort to the newer generations to find what I'm looking for. And now, here you are. Looking quite delicious in that three-piece suit with that white rose. And normally I wouldn't bring the subject up in the first date, but I really think that maybe we could be a thing together. And I'm not sure you're open to what I want. So, I really just want to know before I invest too much. Ah, oh, that's amazing. I'm very, very glad to hear that. Oh, a condition. What would that be? Oh, oh, I see. That's wonderful. Simply amazing. I'm so glad I came out here tonight. I should not have doubted my friend, even for a second. Oh, definitely. I'd love to call you my good boy. Over and over and over. If that's your only condition before trying a relationship like this, I believe we're going to be in for a very fun time. 
Oh, absolutely. I know the kind of stuff some naughty boys want nowadays. They want an older woman to take care of them, call them a good boy, and make them feel very, very good. And while I would love to spoil you in all sorts of ways, I'm only going to reward a good boy if he acts like a good boy. And I do expect my future good boy to do all sorts of things other than just being absolutely adorable. Well, to be an adorable house husband, you need to take care of the house while I'm away, wouldn't you? Mm-hmm, but I promise I won't be too tough on you. All I need you to do is make sure we can eat and that the house doesn't get super dirty. So that I can come home, eat, and sit on the couch with you, go to the bathroom to get cleaned up together... Or maybe even to the bedroom before we even have dinner because I'm just so excited to see you again. <laughs> oh, don't you worry for even a moment, my dear. I'm very good at this. I'll be honest. I've done some research on this topic. To put it in publicly decent terms, I know that perhaps you'd like to call me particular names... Does mommy sound familiar at all? Ah, uh, look at you blush. So adorable. Turning all red when I say it even once. I can't imagine how much effort it'll take to get you to say it yourself. Or maybe it'll slip out naturally as a product of overstimulation. Overwhelmed by pleasure. <laughs> I can already imagine it. Seeing you blush and whimper beneath me. Shh, don't get too excited, cutie. Let's stay calm in the restaurant. We can't be too naughty in public yet. You have to be a little bit contained, my cute boy. Well, we still have dinner to finish. We're only on the second course, and we haven't even finished it. I know you want it very badly, but unfortunately, we'll simply have to wait. Oh, don't be sad, my dear. I'm not saying it won't happen. I'm not denying it entirely. Of course we're going to go home together. Not that this date is going oh so well. But we're not quite done here yet. So will you be a good boy for me and finish your dinner quickly? I'm quite excited to get out of here myself. And I can't wait to see your reaction to when I stand up. When I hold the car door open for you. And my home... There's so many things I want to see and hear out of you, but we're both forced to wait just a little bit longer. <sighs> Don't you think it's hot in here? I feel like I'm turning a little red myself as well. Hmm? I say we skip dessert. What do you think? I'm pretty sure we could come up with something to replace when we get to my house. I am pretty sure I have some whipped cream laying around in the fridge, which we can use to great effect. Agreed. Then finish your main course, my good boy. You've got a long night ahead of us, and I can't wait to get started. <laughs>